Today, we're gonna go through three of the biggest makeup trends of the season. But I'm not only gonna show you the trends, I'm gonna show you the products that will help you execute those trends as well. If you are tired of scrolling through social media and thinking, man, how do I get that look? How did she do it? Well, you found the right video. Let's go. The first trend that I wanna to talk to you about is clean, healthy looking skin. This is a skin that has that glow from within radiance. It's a no makeup makeup look that people are going crazy over. Back in 2019, we were really stuck in like the more is more era. Do you remember that? Full coverage makeup, super bold brows, big eyes. It was everywhere and the fuller the coverage, the better we thought the foundation was. Just to illustrate this point, in August of 2019, when I had just started my channel, I even made a whole video about the world's most full coverage foundation, which was the Juvia's Place foundation at the time. It was a foundation that was going viral everywhere. Everyone was talking about it because a full coverage super matte finish was the goal. If you could see any remnants of skin, <laughs> It wasn't full coverage enough. We literally couldn't be further from that in today's skin looks. The biggest trend right now is completely natural looking skin. Skin that looks like skin with added luminosity and radiance. So a dewy, very natural look that doesn't hide freckles, pores, it just lets the skin breathe. Because of this, people are currently loving tinted SPFs, tinted serums, and tinted moisturizers. These types of products give all day luminosity with very sheer coverage that blurs imperfections softly without completely erasing them. So let me talk a little bit about some of the products that I've used that do a really good job of achieving the skin goal. I'll go through these products in order from the least amount of coverage to the most amount of coverage because sometimes we wanna execute that look but we still need a little bit of coverage, okay? So keep watching, I'm gonna to get to those products. So the first one is the Super Goop Glow Screen. I've mentioned this a bunch of times on the channel because I love it. I use it every day, either on a its own or under foundation. This sunscreen has an SPF of 40 and it's tinted with a pearlescent finish. So the formulation has a bit of like an iridescence to it. You can get it in a few different shades. You can get it in sunrise, dawn, golden hour, and sunset. And it works as a skincare product, a sunscreen, a primer under foundation, or even a very sheer coverage tinted moisturizer. It's great. Another product that I love is the Chanel Water Fresh Complexion Touch. This product has a gel texture to it and it's made up of 60% water. It really is very good for keeping the skin looking super hydrated. It has a bit of like a cooling effect to it. It's very, very luminous. I bought a color that was a little bit darker than my actual skin so that I could get like a tanned glow from it. And let me tell you, it delivered. It is not the most inexpensive product in the world, but it really does what it's intended to do extremely well. And I haven't really seen or used anything quite like it. It gives you beautiful, luminous, completely natural looking skin that stays looking that way for the whole entire day. It's a cool product. If you want something like this, invest in it because it will, it will give you what you want. It does deliver those results. Now, if you're looking for a more budget friendly option that provides a little bit more coverage, then L'Oreal H Perfect is great. This foundation has a medium buildable coverage with a natural radiant finish to it. It looks absolutely amazing on everyone. It's a drugstore brand that sits at a great price point. It gives that skin-like finish, but it does have more coverage since it is a foundation. It's luminous, it's not too flat, it's affordable, it's great. It's one of my favorite medium, lighter coverage foundations of the season for sure. And finally, if you're the type of person that wants that effortless glow skin look, but you do need more coverage, for whatever reason, right? You just need more coverage, then you may love this next product. This is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. It has an SPF of 50 built right into it. And even though it is a CC cream, it actually does have full coverage, but not in that flat matte way that we were doing it in the past. It gives a skin-like finish with that added bonus of like blurring imperfections. So your skin still looks like skin. It's still very luminous, 
but it does cover, it really does. In my makeup kit on my clients, I use the original one, but there are actually a few different variations of this product now. There is a CC Nude Glow, which has lower coverage than the original with the addition of a brightening glow serum. There's also the CC Cream Illumination, which is like the original in that it's full coverage, but has that glow to it as well. And then there is the matte version, which is the same full coverage as the original, but just more matte. I haven't tried any of the other ones. I wanna be honest. I have haven't tried those other ones. I've only tried the original formulation, but even without the illumination serum, I find the original to be very glowy still and very easy to put on. It's known to be a favorite product amongst mature women with aging skin. If you read a lot about like mature aging skin, makeup tips and tricks, this foundation comes up time and time and time and time again. It works very well on very dry skin, aging skin with a lot of lines and wrinkles, all of that stuff. And you get the coverage, which is so nice, right? Luminosity with coverage. It's kind of that perfect product for that. The next trend I wanna to talk to you about is the high shine shadow. So bright eyes that are light in tone and spotlighted on the lid are huge right now and they go so well with this overall fresh aesthetic that we have going on. Before I show you how to do it, I just wanna mention that if you are over the age of 50 or even 60, this is not something that you have to discount. As you get older, you shouldn't feel like you can only wear matte shades. As long as you keep the shadow on the lid as a spot highlight, it can look equally fabulous on you. I use a shimmery shadow on my mom who's 63 in this video and on my client Monica who's in her mid 50s in this video. They are both wearing spot highlighted eye looks and it looks amazing on both of them, right? It looks amazing on both of them. So don't fall into those set of rules. You can still do this look. So for this look to work, you want to start with some type of tacky base product. The tackiness of a primer or a concealer on the lid will allow the shimmer to stick and to look more pigmented on the eyes overall. I really love using the Sigma eyeshadow primer for this type of look. The next step is super easy. All you have to do is take your finger, dip it into any light shimmery shadow and press that shimmer on onto the eyelids. This tapping motion with the fingers gives really amazing pigment payoff and it allows the shadows to look very reflective. Now, the color that you choose for the lids is completely up to you, but just know that you can cocktail colors to create different effects. Sometimes I start with a golden tone and then I dab a bright vanilla on top of it to spot highlight it. Sometimes I'll mix pink tones by layering one on top of the other. The options really are endless. A palette that I really recommend getting for this is the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes Palette. It is a very versatile palette because you have your crease contour colors, you have your shimmery lid colors, and you have some deeper tones in case you wanna start smoking things out. It's very easy to create a lot of different looks with this, and it suits so many different skin tones. A smaller palette that's also really nice for a daytime look is the NARS Laguna Eyeshadow Quad because you get three neutral shimmer tones that are very pretty and wearable. If you prefer soft pinks instead of browns, my favorite palette for that is the Urban Decay Naked 3. That palette has a beautiful assortment of like cooler toned pinks and purples. It works really, really well on lighter tones of skin. I use it in my on my bridal clients all of the time. And Sigma also has a new palette called the New Mod, which also has some gorgeous shimmers. So on my eyes today, I use the matte tone New Mod on my crease, and then I highlighted with Posh first and topped it with the Avant Garde. As you can see, it's really reflective and bright. It's so, so beautiful. The third makeup trend is the red lip. Red lips are making a huge comeback and it looks so striking when it's paired with a super natural skin like the trend that we just discussed. Now, all reds are not the same, okay? There are blue-based, orange-based, and even violet-based reds. The ones that I'm seeing a lot on social media are the blue-based, very classic 1950s reds. I wanna show you some iconic reds that work incredibly well on everyone. The first one is MAC Ruby Woo. Every makeup artist knows this lipstick. It's the perfect tone of red for a classic vintage look. It makes your teeth look super white because of its blue undertone and it's super, super matte. The only downfall with it is that I find it so matte that it can actually be a little bit uncomfortable on the lips and throughout the day, it does have a tendency to start cracking a little bit. But if you don't mind matte textures and you don't mind doing some touch-ups throughout the day, then it really is a great shade. It's a staple makeup artist shade. Every makeup artist has 
this red, let me tell you. The second one that I love is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. This is a chubby lip pencil and it is fantastic to use because you don't really need a lip liner with it. Whereas with the MAC Ruby Woo, you really can apply it precisely without a liner. So this is still a really super classic matte shade, but it does give a little bit of hydration to the mouth. It's not nearly as drying as the MAC one. It's beautiful. What do you guys think of this one? Another red lipstick that just came out and is great is the NARS Afterglow Shine Lipstick. And this one is in shade 222 Voltage. This gives glazed apple all the way. It's a classic red with a lot of shine and comfort for the lips. And I've been reading and seeing on the European runways that we are about to get hit with a lot of super glossy vinyl style lips. So this is kind of like a precursor to that, okay? We used to only do matte reds shiny reds, vinyl reds, glossy reds, they're coming and they've already arrived. I'm seeing them quite a bit on social media, but I think they're gonna be coming like in full force in the next few months. Another classic red that's really easy to wear is the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash in 106 Dominant. If you are a lipstick lover, I'm sure you own a Chanel already. It's like a staple for the lipstick lovers of the world, and that's why they are always freaking sold out. They're always sold out. But this one that I'm wearing in this clip has a texture of a lip balm with a higher shine finish like the NARS. This tone that I have in my collection is a little deeper. So if you want something poppier, like the previous colors, then I suggest looking into color Romance, which is color 170. It will give you a little bit more of a poppy, poppy vibe. But the one that I have in my collection is still really beautiful and it works great if you want a little bit of a deeper red. Which trend is your favorite and are you gonna try any of them in the near future? Let me know in the comments section. If you do try a look and you wanna post it, tag me on Instagram at GlamGirlGabby. It makes me really happy to see you guys get inspired by the channel. It really does. This video's over.